Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello Grade Twos and welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is My Family and Summer. And before we get into any lessons Grade Twos, it's very important for us to sanitize. So take your sanitizer and you rub it on your hands and round and round. Well done. Make sure that your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about vocabulary, measurement, the short E words, and the short I sound. For our first exercise, boys and girls, please can we turn to page 16. On page 16, we have our vocabulary words as well as our sight words. Now let's start with the vocabulary words. Remember, vocabulary words are words that may be new to us that we need to know and use often so that we can improve our English. Today, we have the words, repeat after me, summer, play, swim, sun, hot, and rain. Now, I am going to explain what each one means. Summer is the season. It is a season where we are outside and the sun is shining. Then play. We all know how to play. <laughs> play is to have so much fun. Swim. Swim is to have fun in the water. This time, when we swim, we swim in a big pool. Sun. We all know the sun because the sun shines in summer. Hot. Now, the opposite of hot is cold. So, when something is hot, we know that it is very, very dangerous at times to touch. But in this case, hot can also mean the weather. Outside can be hot. Then we have rain. Now, rain is not a new word. In fact, we always see rain in summer. And rain are little, little drops, just like the ones that are around our vocabulary words. Now, I want you to please practice these words as we go through the week. Make sure that you use them correctly now that you know what they mean. On the other side of the page, we have our sight words. Now, remember, we said sight words are words that we use often when we are speaking or reading or making sentences. 
So our sight words are, repeat after me, I, it, of, these, and, out, see, and the. Please try and use these words as often as you can, as well as spell them correctly when you are using them. I'd like you to continue practicing your new vocabulary words and sight words as you are reading and writing for this week. Try and say them again by yourself and even use them in sentences. And we will see you just now after this short advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Our next exercise, boys and girls, let us turn to page 17. On page 17, you can see that we have school measurements to do. Oh my, this is going to be so much fun. You are going to be asked to cut out and you are going to measure. What are you going to measure with, you might ask? Well, you're going to cut out paper clips as a ruler. And then after measuring the objects, you're going to write your answer in the block. So you can see that on the other side, we have a ruler made up of paper clips. Now you're not supposed to cut the paper clips, but you're going to cut out the ruler just like how I have done here in the classroom. So I have cut out my ruler and you may not see it clearly, but this is the paperclip ruler. I did not cut in between. Now remember, when you are holding a pair of scissors, boys and girls, please make sure that you have a adult with you so that you do not hurt yourself. So once you are done using your scissors, and cutting out your ruler, it's time to measure. So you're going to use your paper clips to measure. Now each block is one paper clip. And as you are counting, you'll be able to see how many paper clips each item is. Now the items we have is a book, a bus, a school, and a bag. So you are going to hold up your paper clip ruler and you're going to use the dark lines that are across or down. We are going to measure the book together. So I already have mine cut out. So I'm going to put my paper clip ruler against the line and you can see that it is almost two paper clips. So I am going to write the number two inside. Let me get a pencil. <laughs> and we are going to write the number two. There we go. So this is very easy and I'm going to leave you to do this. And when we are back, we're going to do a different exercise right after this advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Our next exercise, boys and girls, please can you turn to page 19. Our next exercise is about the short e eh word or sound. Now, each of the pictures that you can see there have the sound e eh in them. So we are going to unscramble the letters 
of the word so that it matches the picture. Let's do the first two together. Now the first one that we can see is definitely a bed. Let's try and unscramble it on the board. So the first letter that we can see is we have a D or a D. And then we also have a B or B. And then we have an E, the sound that we are working on. So with these three letters, we need to make the word bed. Now when we say the word B, E, D, it already shows you which one we are starting with. So the first one we will start with is B, B. So we write B. And then we have our sound, the one we are focusing on for all the words, which is E. So we are going to write E. So we have B, E. And of course, the last one that we can see here is the D. So we are going to write D. Nice and round, up and down. And now we have made the word bed. To check, you can even sound it. B, E, D, bed. Now you are going to do the rest by yourselves, but I think one more is okay. Let us try the one where we can see a web. Now the letters that you can see there are or rather the first one that we can see boys and girls is E. So that is the one we can see. We can see E. And then we can see And the last one that we have been given is B. So we are going to change it now and make it a proper word by unscrambling the words. So we are going to start with how we sound it for the word web. Now the first sound that we can hear is so we are going to put there we go then the next sound that we can hear in the word web is a a so we are going to put a and last but not least we are going to put our last sound b Now we have our word web. And remember, you can always check by sounding it. Web. Web. Now remember, if you get confused, you can always ask for help. But I know you are clever boys and girls, so I'm going to leave you to do the rest by yourselves. Take your time. Have fun. Sound out the words before you know that it is unscrambled. I'll see you just now after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Let's now look at our last exercise for today on page 20. On page 20, you can see that we are doing more phonic sounds, but this time it is the sound Everyone, let's say e. Well done. 
Now, it is going to be our job to write the correct name for the picture. Now, we have a few pictures and I'm going to help you with at least three of them. So, let us take a look at the board. The first one that we can see that is in our booklets that kind of looks like this one is a bin. So, we say b -i -n, bin. So, we're going to write our b. Small letter. You go down, up and round for b. And then we'll use our sound i. There we go. Don't forget the head of Mr. I. And then we are going to have n. Down and round like this. So now we have written the name of the object. And it is a bin. B. I. N. Bin. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is a number that we all know and we are going to spell it. The first thing is a s. So we're going to write s. Okay, then after our s, we have our sound for today is i. So we write i. Remember, it's straight down and it's head. And then we are going to write Everyone, let's say x. Very good. So we're going to put our x. Well done, everyone. So now we have our word b in for the picture of a bin. And then we have our word six for our number six. The next one is a type of fruit. That is your number 10 in your book. And that fruit is called a fig. So we are going to write the name. We have f as the first letter. Remember, small letter f has both of his arms on each side. And then we have e, our special sound for this exercise. And then after that, we have our g for the word fig. Remember, her legs go down the line like this. So now we have our three pictures with their names. The first one was bin. The second one was six. And the last one, number 10, in your book is fig. If you manage to get all of these right without my help, good job. That makes me very happy and shows me that you can do the rest by yourselves. Please take your time. And if you're not sure what the picture is showing you, it's okay to get a little bit of help, but not too much. <laughs> I'll see you just now after our advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. We have now come to the end of our lesson. Now remember boys and girls, if you don't know what to do, or if you're not sure about your answers, you can always ask for help. Now that we are done, it is good for us to sanitize. Remember, when we sanitize, we are showing the world that we care enough to stay far, far away from coronavirus. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I feel like going outside today. I want to take Sashi with me. Sashi, where are you? Oh, there 
you are. Hello, Sashi. <laughs> so, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus.